Isil drives you to repair our weaponry. We'll do just that. And then crush the Autobots to scrap! Crush the Earth and its puny humanity! Crush anyone, anything that dares to oppose us! Agreed, mighty Galvatron. But first, we must find the Isodrite. <laughs> Red Bat has found a deposit of Isodrite. And something else. I don't believe it! Autobots! Gentlemen, a rival geological survey has arrived! Hold your ground! We need the Isodrite as much as they do! Out of my way, fool! My Euratron, please! We must use strategy! Strategy is that cards! Remarkable. Galvatron is doing most of the work for us. Springer, above you! For the glory of Galvatron! <laughs> Talk about your one-track minds! <laughs> You should be twice shaken enough! Uh, damn sweep! Ah, you are finished, Magnus! I shall use your head as a doorstop! I'll help you, mighty Galvatron! I don't need your help! May we leave this neighborhood before it deteriorates further? <laughs> Prepared to depart! Coward! You will not escape my wrath so easily! We must help him. As he helped us, Cyclonus? Not beaten! Galvatron cannot be beaten! I will destroy you all! This isn't over, Autobots. Do you hear me? This isn't over. You're starting to sound like Galvatron. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> you should have seen Galvatron in action. No Decepticon ever fought more valiantly. Or less rationally. Yeah, well, maybe the Autobots should have destroyed it. They'd be doing us a favor. That is treason, Swindle. We need Galvatron. Hey, that's a can of old lube. He'll be the death of all of us if something isn't done about him. I, for one, am tired of being bashed around by our supposed leader. Either you do something about his craziness, Cyclonus. Or we'll do something about both of you. Greetings, Cyclonus. Galvatron's actions grow more amusing by the day. Go away, Quintesson. I'm busy. There are worlds that specialize in curing such disorders. Toculon, for example. Don't insult my intelligence, Five Face. I trust you no further than I can throw Trypticon. On the other hand, something must be done. Yes, mustn't it? But Galvatron would never go willingly to such a place. That, Cyclonus, is your problem. He's taken the bait. We shall soon have several less Transformers to concern us. Yes, including the most dangerously unpredictable of them all. How much longer will these cursed repairs take? Work faster! There are Autobots waiting to be mangled! Even now, the Autobots bask in what they believe to be their victory. Never expecting us to strike at the new planet they are exploring. Planet? What planet? We will make that world their tomb! But, but, but Galvatron, we need time to plan, to prepare. Um, a world called... Toculon. Well, where are they? Where are the Autobots? They uh, must have detected our approach and gone.
gone into hiding. There! Something's moving! It must be the Autobots! Ultra Magnus! Come out! We're here! Come meet your doom! I wish you would. I want out of here this place to see the creeps. You! <laughs> Where are the Autobots? <laughs> I warn you, tell me where to find the Autobots, ah! Mommy! I have no head, I have no head, I have no head, I have no head. Are you the new admission? <laughs> oh, never mind, I see. Are you threatening me, beast? <laughs> Stop! Enough! Anti-mutual behavior is not permitted. And just how do you intend to stop me, you lover? When I kick my fists on you! Entity exhibits a severe failure in reality processing and a malignant plasma neural tick. You were wise to bring him here. We'll need a complete history, of course, if we're going to do anything for him. Uh, no one is going to do anything for me! He's been this way for a while, I take it. Some sort of plasma accident? Ah! Ah! Cyclonus! You knew there were no Autobots here! You deceived me! Mood swings? Irrational behavior? The force field is running out of charge. Very well. Inhibit him. Cyclonus! Cyclonus! <laughs> I will rip out your cogs for this! Cyclonus! I will! I will! <laughs> Cage synthesis. What are you going to do to him? Why, we're going to begin his treatment. Remove the patient. Before we start, there are certain formalities. Does the patient have a service contract with us? Then we'll require a credit reference. I believe we can waive the customary deposit. Should the patient require permanent care, payment will be made in consciousness units rather than conventional currency. Um, what I want to know is... Do you understand and agree to these terms? Yes, yes. Then, if you validate the forms right here... ...and here for diagnostics... ...and for therapeutics... ...and one for parts and labor... ...and accounting... ...and there. That's your copy. Release me, fools, or perish! Standard logic failure, aggravated by the plasmatic imbalance. Can you help him? Path scan, please. Embrittlement of the metaprocessing circuitry. No wonder he's always on the brink of perceptual crash. Uh, I am Galvatron! Release me! Forfeit your puny lives! Uh. Can you help him? Hopefully. Immediate transfer. Advanced treatment facility. Cyclonus, I will rip you to pieces for this! Cyber sedation should be taking effect by now. And then what? We try to get him to talk about his problems. Galvatron, don't fight it. Just say whatever comes to mind. Kill, smash, destroy. Uh, yes, go on. Rend, mangle, distort. This is stupid. Let's get him out of here. 
Give it a chance. I'll destroy everything here. Everything! And then I'll destroy the Autobots. Yes, tell me about the Autobots. I hate the Autobots. I hate Cyclonus! And I'm not very fond of you! Curse you! Destroy you! Out of here! Perhaps we'll do better with psychomotor reintegration. What's the point of this? Sometimes, assembling the pieces of an external object aids the patient in reconstructing his damaged psyche. Get this and then I'll show what he did. Your friend is rapidly exhausting his therapeutic alternatives. Exodrama is one of the most powerful therapies available to us. Free me! Free me or I will gut this entire planet! Cyclonus, I command you! What will they do now? Act out their problems. the tolerance to the inhibitor ray. Hmm, we have no choice. Immobilize him for the Alia solution. <laughs> Does this mean there isn't any hope for him? No, he can still be normalized by other, more radical means. I am Galvatron, greatest of the Decepticons! You have no right to change what I am! But you've already been changed. That's the problem. That's why your friend brought you here. Prepare him for maximal intervention. Wait! I demand to know what you're going to do to him. We're going to cure his processing problem, obviously. Cure? Why have you waited so long to... Because this procedure may also cure him of being... Galvatron. What are these things? The instrumentalities of Galvatron's final treatment. The Alia, a living extension of the planet itself. They're alive? Torculan is alive. One vast living computer. The Alia weave its circuitry. They will cure your Galvatron once and for all. Alia, to the pinnacles! What did you mean by that? Therapy on Galvatron's metaprocessor has failed. Our only option is to complete its disintegration. But his metaprocessor contains his mind. No, release him, let him go! We cannot allow you to interfere. Besides... You were supposed to repair his mind, not destroy it! We tried. It's beyond repair. When I get out of these! What we do to Galvatron, we can also do to you. No! Without Galvatron to lead us, the Decepticons are finished! Free me! Now, or I'll destroy you all! Free me! Free me! Free me! Restraints are satisfactory. Patch him into the planetary network. Once he is tied into the planetary computer, Torculon itself will enter his mind and disable the metaprocessor. The Alia will consume the damaged intelligence, and the planet will absorb its energy, including the madness. You have no mind left! <laughs> 
Tell me just a machine. Aren't we all, in a way? I'll do whatever you want. Very well, we're ready. Open the linkage and let the planet access his central processor. Planetary network has access. Transfer beginning. All right. Let the Alia enjoy their meal. Access positive. All circuits open. What in the universe? Feedback! Impossible! The place is coming apart! The planet's going crazy! It's been infected with Galvatron's madness. The whole network is crashing! Inhibit it! I can't! Enough to keep your mad planet from killing him. Run. We've come to free you. Cyclonus. My Yuan, forgive me. I did not realize. No. You should have. Follow me. I know what to do. Don't you, planet? You know I know your secret, don't you? Secrets? When it invaded my mind, I was in its mind as well. I know where it is. The planet's memory core? Down there, in the oldest part of the web. And when we destroy it, it knows what we're doing. It's trying to stop us. You cannot stop me. I am Galvatron. I am your destruction. He is crazy. Galvatron, no! It's too much! It'll fry your circuits! Centuries to rebuild. Only centuries? Are you certain? Then perhaps my work is not finished. Haven't we more pressing concerns, mighty one? The Autobots, for instance. Autobots? Ultra Magnus, yes! Yes! <laughs> Fleeing the wars that devastated their home planet of Cybertron, most of the Autobots made Earth their temporary home. Under the leadership of the powerful robot Optimus Prime, the heroic Autobots battled fearlessly against the assaults of the evil Decepticons, protecting their new human friends. Now it is the year 2006, and the Autobots have reclaimed the planet of their origin, Cybertron, to establish a new golden age. In migrating from Earth, they have been reunited with companions from other regions of the galaxy, including Skylynx, the gigantic space shuttle, Blur, the fastest car on wheels, Cup, the flinty old warrior, Wheelie, who always offers advice in rhymes, Springer, 
the mighty helicopter, R.C., a forceful female Autobot, and Rekgar, the leader of a tribe of Autobots that dwells on the planet Junkion. The Autobots have a new leader, Rodimus Prime, who inherited from Optimus Prime the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. As a receptacle of the wisdom of Autobot leaders for the past millions of years, the Matrix helps Rodimus guide the Autobots in their darkest hours as they fight to end the tyranny of the evil Decepticons.